Okay, YouTube, I think I have solved the ABS and parking light always on issue in my 2002 Dodge Ram 1500. It's got the 4.7 liter engine in it, it's four wheel drive, quad cab, short bed. Uh, about two days ago, the check engine light came on. Um, but it's had the ABS and parking light uh, issue for probably about a year and a half. Now, last year, I changed the rear differential fluid, and they were a part of um, what they call C clips online. That's the slang term. It's really a clutch pack retainer clip in the differential housing. There's, I believe, four of these so-called C-clips in the, in the differential. Um, and there are a ton of people with trucks. Uh, by the way, my model year is a 2002, but it seems like from about 2002 all the way up to 2009, maybe beyond that, and even earlier, you can look through the internet, just look up C-clips and Dodge Rams, uh, look up retainer clips and Dodge Rams, you're going to find a ton of boards showing where people have pulled pieces of these things out of the bottom of their differential housings. Uh, make sure when you change your differential fluid, you don't just pump it out, take the entire cover off and check the magnet that's in the bottom of the housing. Guaranteed. If your ABS light and parking brake light have been coming on and your speedometer has been bouncing up and down, you got pieces of metal in that bad boy because that speed sensor on the top of the dis differential housing uh, works off of a magnetic pulse. So it's magnetized and it picks up little shards of this metal and keeps it on there and it's not able to get the signal properly. Now. The check engine light finally came on because my speedometer stopped bouncing and just stayed at zero for probably two days straight. Um, the, the code was P0500 and that points to the sensors. I went ahead and changed all three sensors. There's one on the top of the differential housing and two on the driver's side of your uh, transmission housing. They're not the same sensors. The two on the transmission for my model year and model are the same as each other, but the one on the differ differential housing is a different uh, model number sensor. And that one comes with a little uh, wire clip with it too. Anyways, um, you pull the pieces out of that housing and get all of the... Uh, metal debris out that you can clean it out as good as you can check around for damage uh, look for pieces that maybe haven't made its way to the bottom of the differential housing yet sometimes those c-clips hang up in their position up along uh, where the spider gears are on either side um, sometimes they come out and they start damaging your bearings which is I, I think probably what's uh, happening with mine because there was a lot of fine I'll call it metal sludge on that magnet uh, look like a, almost like a powdery aluminum sludge. Uh, get all that gunk out. Um, you can do what I did. This is the second time I've changed the fluid within a, a year, year and a half, and pulled those pieces out. And uh, even yesterday, so you can see I've done about 16 miles since I've done the the uh, differential fluid change because I did pull the uh, negative battery terminal when I changed the sensors and that clears the uh, codes off your computer but I've done about 16 miles and I did have the ABS light and parking brake light come back on for about two or three miles more than likely there's probably more metal in my differential housing um, probably the ultimate fix for this is change out your differential clean it out really good uh, they range anywhere from 400 and a couple dollars up to 700 couple dollars if you could do the work yourself I 
probably will opt to do an entire rear axle on the truck because they range, they're right around $1,800 to $2,200 if you buy a remanufactured one. But if you, like, um, you find the right website that's offering them, you can get them with a limited slip, like uh, OEM, or you can get them with uh, different configurations. Just make sure that your gear ratio matches whatever's on your, uh, your front differential if you're driving four-wheel drive. You want those to match up. Uh, anyways, I'll check back in, but temporarily fixed for now. I have no faith that it won't come back on because as I said, within about 10 miles of driving yesterday, it came back on for my last little bit of uh, test drive. Uh, it's back off this morning, but I, I can almost guarantee it'll come back on probably within this little trip I'm taking now. That is the, the, the mystery. I've solved the mystery of why the ABS and parking brake lights are on, at least in my situation. And I think for most people with these, these model years of Dodge trucks, it's not actually the sensor. It's the sensor is getting fouled up by metal shavings from these retainer clips and the differential. Uh, good luck. I know I need it. <laughs>